floss tube, I thought I would do a quick flip through of the new Cross Stitch Gold magazine, which is number 63, the November December edition. Um, one glance at the cover, and I thought, ooh, you have some promise there. So I'm just going to show you the main pictures in here. These books are always so fun to look through. There's so much information and so many little tidbits and tips and tricks. This one is so pretty. And yes, I did look at this one pattern first. Lady in Red. This is by Shannon Wassily. She is so pretty. Um, she was on the cover, so of course I had to go and look at her. She reminds me a lot of Joan Elliott. I think she is so pretty. I love the flow of her dress definitely going to stitch that on. I think she is really, really nice. Um, my mom tried so hard to get me to look through this magazine and I said, no, I don't want to look through it. I want it to be a surprise. So there's also, um, of course there's order forms for the cross stitch crazy magazines and things like that. Um, I thought I would show you a couple of these cause this one is really cute. This is, this is Wisteria Fairy this one person stitched this picture. She's so pretty. And a couple other things that were stitched. She's going to stitch the Wisteria Fairy. She's going to stick it in a, um, a nursery. How cool of an idea is that? Oh, and here is an insert for the Queen and Prince Philip's 70th wedding anniversary bookmark. Well, that's fun. It's a free little insert with a, a bookmark pattern. There is the Shades of the Season by Amanda Gregory. This is the cover picture, the poinsettia pillow. That's really, really pretty and elegant. Now, if you stuck that on um, a white or a cream linen or Lugana or uh, a softer piece of fabric, those flowers would really pop even more than that. That could be so pretty. Those are fun. I wonder what those are. Oh, those are Creative Poppy designs. Okay, Creative Poppy. I think most of us know what Creative Poppy is. These are just some little ornaments that they're showing you which are Creative Poppy patterns that you can go get. Some of those are really sweet. They kind of remind me of a Frosted Pumpkin slash something else. <laughs> Here is another pattern. Oh, this one's interesting. This is called Step Back in Time with Maria Diaz. That one's interesting. I don't know that I would ever stitch that one for myself, but I think that's nice. That's nice. Okay, well this is showing you how you can order and how you can, if you subscribe to Cross Stitch Gold, you can get a free gift. I want to know what this pattern is here. If this is in an upcoming magazine or if this has already been released. That is really pretty. Has that one been released before? I've never seen it. That's really pretty. It's a, it's a mother with a daughter and they're decorating a tree. I like that. I'd like to find out what that is. If anyone has any information on that, it would be great. I would love to know. Oh, okay. These are table mats. This is called Dinner is Served by Carol Thornton. Those are different placemat designs, and there are little subtle differences in each one. Well, that's nice. One's got some turquoise, and one's got some pine cones, one's got some berries, and one's got um, just, just flowers. I love the ask the experts, the questions and answers sections of these magazines. They can be so informative. They can give you um, inspirations on what to do and how to finish things and how to fix problems if you're having problems uh, with your pearl threads. It's talking about how to make sure you don't tangle it in the, in, in the works. That's nice information to have. This is really cute. These are called Rockin' Robins. These are from Doreen Jones. These are really cute. These are for like gift tags for gifts. How fun are those? 
You could also make those into little ornaments too. Those would not just work for name tags. How cute would those be in ornaments? Super cute. Four, six, eight little different designs. <clears throat> oh, here's an advent hanging from Fiona Baker. Well, that's interesting. I like the top part. I like the reindeers. You can make little pockets so you can stick little treasures in each little pocket. That's fun. I've never done the advent calendar, but I think that is kind of fun. Maybe when I have children, it'll mean a little bit more to do that. Like, ooh, what's in the pocket today? <laughs> Look at this. Danielle, this is for you. A little fox pillow. How cute is that? By the way, why am I all of a sudden really liking foxes? I don't know. It's just, maybe it's um, those I'm exposed to. Oh yes, and a Biscornu. I would love to make a Biscornu. This shows you some trip tips and tricks on how to make a Biscornu. I'm looking for the um, my favorite pattern of a Biscornu and I really want to do that. This one's fun. This one's a gingerbread house sampler and this one is also by Doreen Jones. This looks a lot like the um, Country Cottage Needlework or Little House Needlework, little, little cottages and little villages. That's very cute. I might stitch that. It's fun. I think I skipped a couple pages. Oh, more foxes. And, oh, and look at that. Totally missed that. I want to know what pattern that is. That is cute. Those little dresses. And then the tree up there. That's very cute. I'd like to know what those patterns are. 20 pairs of charts were 13 pounds to give away. Okay, I guess they're giveaway patterns. But I want to know if I can get them somewhere. Oh, yeah. Here are the upcoming um, patterns in the next Cross Stitch magazine. The next, the next issue. You've got Snow People. You've got little kids outside of a toy shop. I'm not sure what that is from this distance. <laughs> and then on this side, look at her. Oh, I want her. I like her a lot. I always wanted to be a ballerina when I was younger. And then a figure skater. One right after the next. Um, I really like her. She's really pretty. And a bunny getting snowed on. And a reindeer. The reindeer's nice. That's fun. Eat and drink and be merry. Ooh, okay, mischievous moggies. This is Christmas kitten cards, which you could also probably make into little ornaments if you wanted to. These are by Leslie Pierre. How cute are those? I think I might even be able to make those on my plastic canvas. Those could be really cute. You know me and cats. I'm a softie for kitties. I think that's the last pattern, but there are information in the back on French knots and washing and lacing and doing all these kinds of different inf informative things. That's great. And of course, if for no other reason, you got a crossword puzzle in the back. So, <laughs> hey, it's worth it. It's a well-rounded magazine. So I hope you enjoy this little walkthrough of the November, December edition. Um, I've always loved getting these magazines. They're great. I always like to just sit down with one and just kind of read through all the different pages. There's there's so much in them. And it says over 600 hours of cross-stitch projects, of Xmas projects in this book. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. And until I see you next time, ciao for now.